What are some important facts that you think you need to know to put in your projects? Mm. Maddie and Mackenzie are homeschooling this year. It's the best thing for us. They have more time to dance. I'm happy, my girls are happy, and Abby's most certainly happy. So they do all this in the morning and then have all their dance all evening. So they're dancing a lot more. They are. I'm trying to figure out if homeschooling would be right for Kendall. If I want her to become this amazing dancer, she needs more time in the studio. And the only way to get that is to take time away from school so she can be at dance. This might be my next step to get her from, you know, here to here. Mom, how do you spell Tyrannosaurus? Uh, Let's go. Well, congratulations. You beat the Wicked Witch of the West, the Crab Apples. <laughs> and you were the highest scoring routine of the day. We may have won last week against the Crab Apples, but that doesn't mean that everything is just hunky dory around here. I'm still gonna make a few changes. I am going this week and I'm very excited. I have my second open call audition. We're headed to Atlanta and they turn out awesome performers. I think this audition is gonna be even bigger and better than the first one. Girls, I don't know what your mothers told you about the last audition in Orlando, but I kept enough kids that I could have created a whole new team and replaced every single person, including you, Maddie. My eyes are open. I'm always watching. And I know there's some amazing studios in the Atlanta area. I'm still determined to have the best team possible. If I have to replace everybody, hey, so be it. Abby, I would be more than happy to offer my services. I was an admissions director and I recruited for 12 years. I think finally there could be a match where I could be of help and service to Abby as she goes on her open call auditions. And I can also find out what she's up to. Okay, well, I'm gonna take you up on that. There you go. Are my children coming with you again this time? Uh, Maddie, Mackenzie, do you wanna go with me? Yes. Okay, you're gonna sell Abby Lee Dance Company apparel at the audition, okie doke. Oh God, Melissa, of course you're gonna sell Abby's t-shirt. Are you gonna wipe her butt in the bathroom too? All right, let's get to the pyramid. On the bottom of the pyramid is Kendall. You were the only person on our team that didn't get the first. You can do it in the group. You need to be able to do it on your own. Next, we have Brooke. Round off, back layout, step out. About this high off the ground. Next, we have Paige. Paige, you have to work on your posture. Get a book on your head. Don't be embarrassed in front of your friends. Do it because someday you want to be able to stand up straight and tall. And next, we have Mackenzie. You did the group dance. It was fine. I'm thrilled that you're picking up quickly. But is the belly in? How many times do I tell you that a day? A lot. Lace up the ribs and close it like a turkey. Nia, I thought you were good in the group. And I thought your facial expressions were good. I thought you were in the moment. How can I learn how to trust you? I thought you really got into your character. Mia has finally moved up to Pyramid. She's not on the bottom row any longer. She's on a second row. I'm thinking this is a good way to start off the week. And next, we have Maddie. 
You gave an outstanding performance in the group routine. You were helpful during the weekend rehearsal. You corrected everybody. You did the job. But ultimately, our big winner was Chloe. You won the whole thing. You won your solo division. Why did you have to crush me? Chloe was a competitor. She took that stage like she owned it. It's been a long time since Chloe's been at the top of the pyramid, and I think it's going to do wonders for her confidence. All right, this week, we will be attending the Masters of Dance Arts competition in Atlanta, Georgia. The first routine I want to talk about is a trio. We're talking about the good old South, Southern Bells. Paige, you are part of the trio with Chloe. And Kendall. Believe it or not, despite Kendall being last on the pyramid, she was given the opportunity to do a trio with Paige and Chloe. I'm looking forward to this. I have two solos. Maddie, you will be competing this weekend, but you will be doing a ballet routine. And Mackenzie, you will also be doing a solo. You will be entered in the lip sync category, and you must lip sync the song. It has to be big. You have to exaggerate every word. I'm giving Mackenzie a lip syncing solo because I have big plans for her future. But first, I have to find out if she really is an entertainer. All right, everyone will do the group routine, except for you, Mackenzie. This will be a very mature piece. Now, since we're going to Atlanta, I wanted to do something historical, educational, believe it or not, and also Academy Award worthy. This will be a piece about the civil rights movement. So Nia, your mother has been on my back. When is it gonna be Nia's turn? When is she gonna get something special? Da 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 da. So Nia, I'm challenging you to give an Oscar-worthy performance as our young heroine in the piece at last. The civil rights movement was a monumental event in US history. We've got to be on our A game. We have to dance flawlessly and give the proper respect to this monumental event in history. So Nia will be our featured performer, but with that, the weight of this victory is on you. As an African American woman and as an educator, the civil rights movement has a special place in my experience and in my heart. And I hope that Abby treats this subject matter with dignity and a lot of respect. I hope that Abby does not sensationalize this at all. OK, that's it. I'm going to get the girls warmed up. Spread apart, guys. This routine, it's going to be a controversial piece. It's going to be something that we leave the audience talking about. There will be no fooling around. Understand? All right, let's go. The group routine is about the civil rights movement. And Nia is portraying a young black girl standing up for her rights. And at the end of the piece, Nia is free, both mind and body at last. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. Are you agreeing to go and work, f work for Abby at the open audition and you're keeping quiet about a controversial special part because you're That's nervous lot. about your spot on the team. With this week's group dance being about the civil rights movement, I'm not really sure if Holly is comfortable with how Abby's going to betray Nia's role. But with open auditions coming up, I think that Holly might be a little quiet about it. I am very cautiously optimistic. It's a lot to digest. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. What if it's not up to your standards or isn't tasteful? And I'm hoping that Abby doesn't has Nia just typecast like a loquifa. That that's all she could ever be. Okay, have you met the woman? I know. Because you're like Abby knows not to cross a line. The woman was born over the line. I think some people may object to it, may think that typecasting the only black child in the group is potential for disaster with this dance. Nia is really excited about this. 
It's been a year since Nia's had a featured role in a group dance, and I don't want to be the one to say she can't do it. Let's see it. Ready with music? This week, Maddie has another solo. She will be performing a ballet piece entitled Ballerina. Now that Melissa is homeschooling her children, Maddie has the opportunity to show off all this technique that she's worked so hard to achieve. Having a ballet solo is definitely going to be a challenge. Mm-hmm. Well, hasn't Maddie been having a bunch of ballet privates? She has one a week. An hour and a half. Yeah. That's great. It's fabulous. No, no, but she knows this solo. No, she doesn't. She oh, my God, her. Melissa. She just came out and did, like, a minute and a half of a dance, she, of a two-minute oh, dance. OK, she did a minute and a half. No, your daughter's just here from morning till night. No, they're not. They're only here at 1 o'clock for voice lessons, and then they have one private each. That's, a, like, a uh, full-time job. I chose my kids to be homeschooled this year. And if they have an advantage, they have an advantage. They get to dance more. So I'm sick of hearing about it. First of all, it's really none of your business. It's never any of our business when you don't like I, to I think that I'm not put on the hot seat because guess what? I chose to have my kids go homeschooling so they have but their wait, privates. I don't oh, agree please. with that. Well, that's your problem. I don't agree with that. I really can care less. All right, ladies, you are Southern Bells, the complete opposite of your mother's. No trash, no foul language, no arguing with your teachers, no talking about people behind their backs, no blatant public display of intoxication. You are Southern Bells. This week, Chloe Page and Kendall are doing a trio. It's entitled Southern Bells. I'm expecting these three bells to be Southern hospitality for the judges. Something their mothers could learn a little about. And with the open auditions coming up in Atlanta, all the moms and the girls need to be on their best behavior. I think Abby's getting into this trio. She's up off of her chair. She thinks she could be a Southern Belle. She has oh. her hand on her. her. Her etiquette is terrible. You, I don't care what anybody says. Have you ever sat and ate dinner with a woman? Oh, when she sees her boogies all over her face? No, not on her face, up in her eyes. It didn't even say excuse me? On her hair. She sneezed her boogies in her eyes and her hair. They went down and up. And didn't get up to go to the bathroom to wash her hands. Do you want to share my bread with me? <laughs> oh, my god. But that doesn't sound like southern etiquette yeah. or northern etiquette. Anyone else think it's kind of ironic that Abby is trying to portray herself as a dignified lady? Seriously? She's about the furthest you can get from a southern pal. Kenzie is performing a routine involving lip syncing called Love Overdose. Oh my god. It is such a cute song. Boy, she's really um, going at it with the lip syncing. I think Mackenzie is a natural born entertainer. And I have big things planned for Mackenzie. But she needs to understand just how difficult it is to go out there and sing and dance at the same time. Abby has such a soft spot for Mackenzie. It is unbelievable. Very good. It's good. OK, go grab a drink. Good job. she is working on her ballet and having these privates and she's homeschooling so that the mother can get her here and she can do all this. 
she commends Maddie for being homeschooled, but she can't hold it against our kids for yes. not being homeschooled. Abby always says that the girls would be better dancers if they were homeschooled like Maddie. And I agree, but in my family, school comes first. I just want my kids to grow up normal, not just having dance be their entire life. So how many days a week does Maddie get ballet? Just one? Well, how about the rest of us? I mean, it's only 45 minutes. You have to take your kid out of school. You can be here. Oh, we can't. Exactly. But, but don't, I mean, get mad at but, me because I but can't you be can't get, Abby can't get mad at our kids and then for she going can't. to school. She yeah. shouldn't. The moms are on my back all the time about homeschooling and how much time my kids spend at the studio. They need to get over it. And if they want their kids to be here at the studio more often, homeschool your kids as well. I will say I think she, it's gotten a little bit better since we've started the private. Oh, I've definitely seen improvement. Knees. I just, I think she's so smart and, it, and she wants it so bad. And Christy, who always has her nose in everybody's business, her daughter, Chloe, used to be Maddie's rival. And Chloe used to be the big ballerina. Well, now she could care less about any of it. Some of the girls are just not dedicated enough. Maddie is homeschooled, and it is opening numerous doors for her. And that was my goal to begin with. Well, hi. I wanted to ask you what y'all thought of the ballet class. I think the girls should have more ballet every week. The schedule's tight. I know, I know. Oh. I think we would all like to have a ballet Absolutely. private with Lindy. Christy, a couple years ago, that ballet routine would have went to Chloe. OK. Of kids on this team that should be homeschooled, that should be dancing, I thought that she wanted to make this her career. Where's that little kid, I want to be a Rockette, dance? Why aren't you giving it a try? This week's group dance is inspired by the civil rights movement. I love the fact that Nia has a featured role in this week's group dance, but at the same time, I want to be sure that Abby is going to handle this controversial role with respect and sensitivity. This routine rests entirely on Nia's shoulders. She'll either make the routine or break the routine. And if she breaks it, well, good thing I'm having auditions in Atlanta. There's hundreds of kids that are ready to take her place. I think the visual of Nia with the music and the word, it's a very powerful piece. I hope I don't live to regret this. We're the first ones here. I wanted to talk to Chloe about homeschooling because I want to ask her if this is something that she seriously wants to consider, I need to know that. So last night, um, Abby came upstairs and was giving me a really hard time about you and dance because even though you won this week, she still said that it's not enough and it's not good enough. And she said to me that if you really wanted it, that you should be homeschooled. I mean, I love dancing and, you know, I couldn't imagine my life without dancing, but I couldn't imagine my life without school either. Yeah, you're supposed to go to school, you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's my normal part of the day. I really like going to school because it keeps me normal and I like being able to see my friends. I want to be able to have a life where I can be able to go to school and dance. Abby's whole thing is Maddie and Mackenzie are proving that they want to be dancers because, because they're being homeschooled, but I don't understand what one has to do with the other. You know what? Ignore her. Like, just ignore her, Chloe. You know, ignore her. You have a bright future, and if it's dance, it will be because you decide that you want to do it. But if it's not, you at least have something to fall back on. Chloe's whole world isn't always about dance. She's a different person than Maddie. And going to school is important to her because it helps her to be a well-rounded person. You know what? You don't need her to be proud of you because I'm proud of you and your dad is proud of you. And you should be proud of yourself, OK?
The Abbey Lee Dance Company is looking for replacements. The time has come. Lazy slugs need to go. Spread apart. Hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're in Atlanta for my second round of auditions. Melissa and Holly are here to help me. Now we have a great turnout, there's tons of kids here, and I'm looking for the best possible replacements. I'm looking for kids with high kicks, overstretched splits, great flexibility, and they've gotta have the look. So, the girl with the bad haircut, get out here. Whose parent is this? You are limiting her marketability. You are limiting the job she can get with the look, yes. Our kids are all American girls. They don't color their hair, they don't crimp their hair, and you know, they follow the rules. I don't know if she would do that. One, two, three, four. Red shorts in the back. Right split, left split, straddle split, mandatory. Dancer, yes? Go. 16. That's not a front split. Goodbye. Nine, zero, zero. Go. 406. Goodbye, honey. Thank you for coming. Don't call me, I'll call you. The games have just begun. And face front. 23, great outfit. You're going home. 26, too advanced for you. 425, went the wrong direction. 202. 405, 201. You were a hot mess. Thank you all, ladies. You can go. What's this little one's name here? 003. I loved you. You were great until you screwed up that whole jeté change directions. Get down here. There are so many kids to go through. Some of these kids are just incredible talents, but they might not be right for my team. There's going to be a lot of broken hearts here today. Wait, wait, where are you going? How old are you? Eleven. I have nine. Eleven. Only that I work hard and train out hard, and one day be able to beat whoever I need for you. Give her a second chance. Give her a second chance. In the back. I am appalled at the behavior from the people attending this audition. I mean, if you can't even keep your mouth shut while your kid's auditioning, why would I ever bring you back to Pittsburgh with me? This is destroying me. I don't know who your dance teacher is. Have you been wearing purple all day? Yes. Why would you change your clothes? You are the girl in the purple to my assistant, to me. You're the girl in the purple, the amazing girl in the purple. Goodbye. Dumb. Don't ever do that again. She's way too talented. Stay here. Give her a shirt. Good night. That is not her fault. That's her fault. She needs to be on this stage. She can dance on this stage in her underwear. Her teacher said, let them see your body more. So I took her shirt off. Because, was, because I wanted to see her physique more. That wasn't her fault. I thought this was a dance audition. This is not what I expected. This kind of pandemonium, this calling out. This is like the Jerry Springer of dance. Look, this is not appropriate for dance. If you put her beside Maddie and those other girls, she's built just like them. She looks good. You didn't know put she Put her beside me and they're built exactly the same. Jelena, I want to take you home with me just to get you away she from She looks exactly people. the same. Yes, yeah. please take her. Take her. Please she wants take to be with you. She wants to. We brought her here. This is the first audition I've ever been to, and I'm shocked. I cannot believe Abby is tolerating this behavior from these moms. She definitely needs to take control of this situation. Not her fault. Not her mistake. Sweetheart, I feel very sorry for you right now. But it's a learning lesson. When you go to an audition, whatever you have on, they love it, they keep you, you stay in that same exact look. Jelena, go calm down, and when the 12-year-olds dance again, you join them. Listen up. I have given second chance after second chance after second chance. This is it. We're moving on. 
get cut. Take it like a professional, walk out, and learn from it. I don't want this chaos. There aren't any more second chances here. If you're cut, you're cut. If you're asked to go, go. 409, it's time to go. 17, goodbye. I've managed to whittle out the week. Now I have the best of the best in Atlanta. Once I finish my open call auditions in three cities, then I'll make my final decision. Two down, one to go. Congratulations, you did it. Now, we'll see who's coming to Pittsburgh. Today we're in Atlanta, Georgia for the Masters of Dance Arts competition. And from what I saw at the open call audition, there's gonna be a lot of really good dancers here. All right, girls, come on in. There's a lot riding on Nia's featured part this week in the group dance. She's nervous. I'm nervous for Nia. Nia has to be exceptional in this group dance. One, two, three. Oh, oh, my God. God. Wow, that, that is, is adorable. adorable. Let's see the. Oh. Yeah, they fit. Mackenzie's costume is adorable, and our three girls look like a couple of chickens instead of Southern Bells. You guys are doing a trio? We have two soloists. You go out there and fall on your face, it cannot affect the group number. The group number is hands down the most important routine today. The solos and the trio have to go out there and be amazing because I want the judges hungry to see the ALDC take the stage again. Apply those corrections, everything you've been told, and let's get out there and do this. Come on, come on, come on. This is a really hard solo for Mackenzie. She has to lip sync and perform at the same time. She has to prove to Abby that she can do it all. All right, up next, this is Mackenzie with the uh, overdose. Woo! Mackenzie really entertained the audience, and I think that this proved Abby that she is a star. All right, and next, this is Maddie with Ballerina. Ballet is not Maddie's strong point. She's been putting a lot of time and energy in the solo, so I surely hope she can pull it off.
Abby's ballet solo was beautiful. I think it proves to Abby that she's an all-round dancer, and that's what Abby wants. This trio, these three girls need to go out there and prove to Abby that this is her team. Every single one of them is worth keeping. Next is the junior duet trio division. This is entry number 27, Paige, Chloe, and Kendall with seven bells. Time to pat ourselves on the back. It's time to get ready for the group routine. Make it messy and tack them down, just so they're not flopping. I'm very nervous. I'm not trying to let Nia see my nervousness. Other moms are nervous. It is so tense and strained in our dressing room. Everyone could feel the tension. No one's relaxed. And I'm hoping that negative energy is not feeding off into the kids. It's crunchy. This is a controversial piece. This is the type of routine that people are going to like, people are going to hate, but it's going to make everybody think whether they love it or they don't. If you are so together and so amazing, they can't say anything negative. If Nia doesn't nail her featured role in the group routine, I have a dozen kids ready to replace her at the drop of a hat. Nia, you have to deliver. You have to go out there and dance like your life depends on it, because it does. Don't go out there and do it half. You know what? I can see that Nia's nervous. I want Nia at this point to block out everything except her dance. And when she goes out on stage, she leaves everyone blown away. You are portraying a character, a person, a woman of strength, with dignity, passion, a desire to be free. You're fighting not only for your freedom, you're fighting for your spot on this team. You show Abby that you have everything and more that it takes to be a member of this team through the dance that you do today. You can do it. All right, let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Freedom, you're fighting for your spot on this team. Up next, the third junior squadron title. And that's.
some light Do the next right thing Or the next thing right Oh, you're a long way from home Hear me sing Oh, people need a miracle Do the next right thing Oh, you're a long way from home Hear me sing That's my girl. The dance was phenomenal. Abby and the girls have really given justice to this topic. That's really important to me. I felt free. Like, there was a freedom for me to finally breathe. Like, she did it. She nailed that performance. Place. You know, I think it was probably a really close battle between the first and second. I'm proud of her. For your highest scoring seat junior duo trio is act number 27, Southern Bell. Ah! I wouldn't say it was their best performance. They danced well enough to earn a first place here at this competition, but not good enough to guarantee a spot on my team. Moving on to our lead junior soloist. can say what they want about homeschooling, but Maddie is very happy, and when Maddie's happy, I'm happy. And now moving on to our lead junior small group. In third place, is act number 28, Wild Horses. Second place, is act number 30, Home. And your highest scoring lead junior small group is act number 31, Atlas. Now she carried the team, and she did it well. And so a win like this is not just a win for the group, it's a win for Nia. Now maybe Abby will think twice about replacing Nia. Your name is Studio. Hi, Nia! Ready to Nia? The group routine wasn't perfect, but it was a beautiful tribute to a historical event. And all eyes were on Nia. Oh, Were you nervous before you went out? Really nervous. Really nervous? Yeah. Mackenzie, I thought you were too far stage right. You want to keep dancing? Yes. I don't know. Maybe the homeschool thing isn't right for you. Maybe you need to go back to school if this is just a fun after school activity. Maddie, you ended up with the highest scoring solo today once again. You need somebody on this team that is going to rival you. Somebody that's going to push you, push you, push you. What do you think about somebody new coming on the team? Well, I think it would be great to have a new team member, so like you said, they would push me harder. It's a big decision. It's a huge undertaking. All right, girls, this was the second out of three for my auditions. Obviously, you all realize that people want your spots. Next up, New York City. All right, girls, let's go. Come on, girls, let's go. Moms, girls, get in here. Let's go. Hello, ladies. 
going into this competition season with a very open mind, and I'm not going to have any negative thoughts. I'm thinking very positive. How's it going? Where's Holly? Nia, where's your mother? She's out there. Not going to happen. Yes, she needs to leave work, leave the job, forget it, and be here with you. That's what's important. Yes? You want this. I know you want it. I know you love it. She has to love it for you. When all the moms are there and one isn't, I think Nia feels badly. So I feel bad for the kid, and I get angry with the mother. If you're going to do this and all the other mothers are there, be there. Now, first of all, you're national champions. It was a great competition at Starbound in Lake Tahoe. That's something to be very proud of. Then we got to LA, we did a video. People know who you are now from watching that video. But you're a target. When you walk in, it's going to be all about beating the Abby Lee Dance Company. Brand new season for the Abby Lee Dance Company, but everybody is after them. Everybody wants to see them fail. We all know that Kathy's not here because Kathy wasn't a team player. Where did that get Vivian? Nowhere. I'm going to have an open audition, a casting call for a new dancer for the Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm definitely nervous that there could be more than one replacement at the audition. I mean, my kids are always at the bottom, and, you know, I'm constantly fighting with Abby. I mean, how do I not know that she's not replacing my kids? Tell everybody you know that we're looking for a new girl for this group. Maybe two new girls. Everyone's replaceable. Are you next? Everyone's replaceable. We know. We've heard. So are you. First, Mackenzie. You can't sit on the couch and eat chips. You're not six and under. You're seven and over. And I expected the same thing from you as Maddie did when she was seven. Next, Brooke. Brooke, why are you on the bottom of this pyramid? You had a great season, but then you took a break. You didn't show up to class. Paige, same thing. You can't take a vacation. New role, dancing year round. Nia, you want to win a title. It's all about a title. Every time I talk to your mother, it gets back to the title. Your mother could care less about you winning a title. She's not even here. I'm the one who needs to be there all the time, not my mom, because she has to work and stuff, and she's not a dancer. Chloe, you're in the video. It's like summer. It's a brand new day. People recognize you wherever you go now. That's pressure. Here's our girls with their first professional job. My daughter gets the lead, and she can't make it to the top of that damn pyramid. Hey, Maddie, you're on the top of the pyramid because you won a national title. Maddie, Chloe, Nia, you're going to be doing solos. Now, Maddie, it's not going to be an easy win. It's nine and up, and you're on the young side of the age. I'm really not that nervous moving up to the higher age group. I don't really care if I have a hard competition just as long as I'm dancing. This weekend, we will be attending dance troops in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're going to do a new number called Sassy Dolls. We have one week to the competition, and we don't have a routine yet. We're starting from scratch right now. This is going to be crazy, all right? Moms, I'm going to dismiss you. Girls, we are the reigning national winners. These girls need to keep their eyes on the title. It's difficult to get on top and to become that winner, but it's even tougher to stay on top. And that's my goal for them this year. We want to dominate at those competitions. They are going to be the best. They are forced to be reckoned with, and everybody knows it. The group number is called Sassy Dolls. They're like almost space cadets. It's a hot, high energy jazz routine. Has it the judges? Where's this hand? Well, I think it's funny that it doesn't matter that, like, Chloe got the job in the video, she's still not good enough to be at the top of the pyramid. Oh, please, mine are at the bottom. I know. This hand, ladies, left hand. Is it on the small of the back? Is it a baton twirler? Is it a fist? Everybody's doing something different. But what bothers me is that none of you have the insight to raise your hand and ask what it's supposed to do. Wake up! Do you want to be the dance captain or do you want to be the one walking out of the audition because you got cut? So take it from there, right there. Come over here and do the walks. I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting, open auditions. I think it's going to be weird having somebody else in the group. Let's all say a little prayer that they're not like Kathy.
really good at Candy Apples Dance Center. We've got a lot of projects that we've been working on, and we're actually gonna start our competition season a little bit earlier this year. Go! Oh my God, you're hiking her up like she's a sack of potatoes. There's a couple big competitions coming up. We have a couple scores that we have to settle. And when the dance moms from Abby Lee Dance Center see us, as well as Abby, they are gonna be blown away. Vivi went to study with Abby Lee. They did something that was kind of unique. It was a pyramid. And it was kind of a negative pyramid. And it was a big, huge dissension about who was always gonna be at the top. Well, we're gonna do a pyramid. There's gonna be somebody that's at the top every time we go to compete. And that person is the person that will be having a solo at that said competition. And the first person that we have on our pyramid is Miss Vivi. Then we have Sarah. Then we have Carissa. Then we've got Taylor and Sir Justice. Leading us into candy apple battle is Erica. Since Erica's doing a solo, she will be at the top of the pyramid and you'll all have an opportunity to be at the top of the pyramid. Let's go, let's get ready. Let's do some rehearsing, okay? We've got talent and we've got heart and soul and we are determined that we want to make sure that Abby has heard us roar. Nia, be in front of Brooke, you're behind Brooke, you're next to Brooke, what are you doing? You're all over the place. Abby, I don't know how she was. Poor Nia. Nia. I felt so bad for it's her. It's not Nia's fault no, that her mom has to work. Not. Hello, how's everything going? I spoke to Christy. She told me that Abby was being harsh, that she was being unreasonable, that she even threatened to replace Nia. How did the whole thing turn out? I'm a little concerned. She's getting a solo this weekend, and you're not going to be there. Are you so. not able to go at all? No. I was in that pyramid. I'm the adult. Nia has no control over me, and there was no need for Abby to be harsh or to take it out on Nia because I wasn't present for a pyramid. Here you are. Yes. Just checking in to see if everything's OK between us, because it doesn't sound like no. it is. The parents were required to be here today. Here, I think moms who don't work probably have a more flexible schedule. But you know that I work, so I, I cannot. If you cared and you want to speak your opinion, you'd be here at the meetings. I can't believe this is starting already again. Abby, let's not go there once again. You need to be here. I feel right now that I care more about Nia's success than you do. No, well, your not. husband was here. He walked right well, in the door. Why didn't he stay? Abby, if you My want... dad even took me to the mother-daughter talk about getting your period. My dad took me because my mother was at work. Oh, my God, she's talking about a period? <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything? Oh, I want to kill myself. Figure it out, because you know what? Abby, the kid needs somebody. Was I... She's not that swift. How dare you? She's how, not. How dare she you? She needs help. She needs you to be here. Oh, Abby. She needs people to take notes. Abby. <gasps> You, you think you're idea. up here because you have a doctorate and everybody else is That's down here. That's your problem, Abby. You are intimidated by me because I don't have a doctorate. Bull! Oh, Abby, don't be ignorant. Please. That's it. No. this weekend because I have to work. It is extremely difficult to bring myself to tell Nia that I'm not going to be able to make it. This is the deal. This weekend, I have to work. Are you positive that you can't miss work for one day? I am very positive. That makes me really sad. Me too. It's kind of sad because finally, dances that I actually like and my mom can't be there for them. But I will talk to her, and I will make it very clear to her that if she has an issue with my not being there, she talks to me about it. So even though mommy's not there, mommy is there. OK. And I will make that very clear to Miss Abby. I am so frustrated right now. I don't know if I want to stay, continue, and be a part of this team. She's working 110%. She's giving her all. She loves this place, and that's not good enough for Abby. This is the open call audition day to replace Vivian. And I am just thrilled that so many people are turning out. There's a line around the building. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thank you for coming. I'm looking forward to seeing some amazing talent in there today. Break a leg, everybody. You all realize why you're here. You're auditioning for a spot on the Abby Lee Dance Company's competition team. It is not to be taken lightly. 
here to audition. I really can't believe that we have to audition. We've been here for four years, and I think it's, you know, ridiculous that we have to wait in this line with all these people. They're all strangers. She should just be in the group. This is it. Dance for your life. Stand hands up. It's party time. All the girls and the girls are about to shine. Ladies, stand up, because it won't be long. My eyes are roaming the classroom. Seven, eight, nine. Here we go. I'm going to let you go. 478, you're done. 276, you're done. I immediately took notice of about five dancers. That would be a nice fit. Now I need to see them jump. I need to see them turn. I need to see them kick. Come on, girl. Give it to me! That's not enough right now! Let's go! When I looked around at all the moms, it was weird to picture any of them being part of our group. I mean, we're such a close-knit group, and just to let an outsider in is going to be really hard. All right. I'm a little worried about the new mom joining the group just because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder with Melissa, and if I've got another one, I can only look one way at a time. Next group, let's go. You need a kid that's really going to fit in with the chemistry of the group. 495, you can go, thank you. Stay, you can go. They can't be too old, they can't be too young. I don't want another Mackenzie whining. I don't want another Brooke brooding. I need someone that's the right fit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put my little baby up there. Face directly to the back. Good lord, it's like they're like at a cattle auction. As you know, we were looking for one person. 230-201-479, step forward. Peyton, you know I love you. You're just not right for this particular competition team, so I have to let you go. It's just not fair. I think Peyton was just too tall. And I know you don't want to hear that, but... Well, then put her on it some other way. <sighs> Relieved? 201, 479. Sadly, I have to let you go. Thank you very much. 230. Congratulations! so excited for Kendall. All of her hard work had paid off, and I know what she's going to do with this team, and I know that they're going to love her. This is a legacy that you're joining. She is now one of Abby's kids. I am Kendall. I'm eight years old, and I just really believe in myself that I can show Abby what I can do. I think I'm worthy to be a part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. This is a tight-knit group, and I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be easy. You're on probation for the first several weeks. And, Mom, there's a competition this weekend. She has three days to prepare. I chose Kendall because she has great potential. She was the right look. She's a cute little girl. She fit in well with the kids. Thank you, you're all dismissed. I will see you bright and early tomorrow for rehearsal, okay? Thank you, thank you all. Jill. Um, She's going to come in tomorrow. I need her for a private right after school. I'm going to teach her a solo, and then I'll be here to have her in private. Thank you. All right. Hey, by the way, congratulations Thanks. again. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Um, I just need you to explain a few things to me. I don't understand. No, no worries. Yeah. Cat Payton. Why Cat Payton? She's just too tall. Oh, come on. Find, you're Abby Lee Miller. Find a spot for her. She didn't make it for the first cut. She, she just doesn't fit she, into that team. She looks too why old. Why not? She it dances what very you mature. Do? I spend tons of money, and you I know, know what? You're a very good customer. I'm not dumbing that. The kid was great. Well, then tell me I what told her she was great. What is it going to take? You'd have to cut her in half. She's it puberty. doesn't matter. You should find her a spot. Are you bringing these strangers? Those three girls left after you cut her? Wait, the strangers. Well, you don't know what they're like. You don't know what that... Wait, is the one going to come from Ohio? You have no idea what these people are going to do for you. Leslie! I do everything for you. Leslie. What? Calm down. Bull crap. I do everything right. You need to go home and rethink this. Try to sleep on your pillow and think about what you did to me and to Peyton tonight. Leslie. No, Peyton is too old to dance with those little kids. Find her spot, Abby. Find her spot. solos today. I'm rehearsing the group number today, and nobody's leaving early, and nobody's coming in late. They're all going to be here, and I don't care if their feet are bleeding. 
Maddie is doing a musical theater number called Jubilation. It's about a young girl whose dreams come true when she lands a spot on Broadway. This is gonna be one tough year for Maddie. She is now competing nine and over. Star, diva. There's kids that I know that are 10, 11, and 12 who will make mincemeat out of her. All right, let's see it. Nia's doing a routine. Uh, the music is based on the Broadway show Once on this Island. It's very tropical. She looks beautiful in the costume. And it's simple. She does a lot of acrobatics. I don't want any trouble with your mother. This is not an ethnic dance. Holly, once again, no show. I'm sick and tired of hearing Holly's mouth about the ethnic routines, and I don't want to hear the mother anymore. And ta 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 You can look side, side. Chloe is doing a musical theater number called Dreams. This music is perfect for her because she has big dreams, but she's going to have to do a lot of work to make those dreams come true. Chloe has gained a lot of recognition from the music video. Frankly, I think it's getting to her head a little bit. What that kid doesn't understand is all eyes are on her. Everybody's going to be watching for her to make a mistake. How about our new BFF, Jill? Is she coming? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be here. Probably going to be here with a big gift for Abby. <laughs> I think she's very nice. Um, and I, I don't know her, so I'm You also thought Kathy was nice. So what's your uh, judge of character? I like you guys, but I don't want to be your cheerleaders. I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but um, somebody said they quit from where they were dancing. There was like three people that quit because of her. Melissa says that people have told her that Jill is like a crazy dance mom and that she's heard nothing good about her. A couple people said to me, isn't it funny how she wormed her way in here after your kids got a music video and the next day I walk in and here she was, like taking classes and coming for this audition. Yep. So your reputation precedes you. Kelly and Christy already have their guard up, and they're ready, saying, we think that Jill is going to be a problem in our group. Um, I'm kind of thinking the same way, but I'm trying not to judge her. I'm trying to give her a chance. And I certainly don't trust people who are, like, overly nice, overly accommodating, sweet, nice. Like, because nobody's really that nice. It's her. I mean, I, I'm just... I think her main thing was... Hi! Hi. How is it? Your first day. It's my first day. I'm Jill. Christy. So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Jill. Christy. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. I love Jill's voice. I think it's very 900 number. Tight, cut under! Cut under! Downstage! This little girl, Kendall, is getting the biggest break of her life she's ever gonna get. And so is that mother. I am going to put Kendall in the competition doing a solo so that I can see what she looks like on stage. I'm gonna put the pressure on that kid and see if she sinks or swims. Then you're gonna take a giant step with your right foot out and drag and throw those arms up in the air. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Kendall's gonna be able to hang. And we came from a studio from about an hour. I live locally. But so... what made you, like, I mean, you've been driving for years and this is close. Why didn't you come here before? Honestly, I never heard great things about Abby. I feel this tension between Christy and I. I would think she could be a little more welcoming. Um, we always beat your studio when we went places. Yeah, you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Chloe and Maddie have gone head to head with Kendall and they beat her. When? Last year. Well, Kendall's See, come a long so way. See, I told you. Yeah, she well, has her stuff. We've all come a long way. Yeah, we've come a long way. I and wasn't there. It My kids is there. about the win because let's face it, we're all here to, to win. Christy brings up that Maddie and Chloe had both beaten Kendall at one point, so she must feel a little threatened by Kendall to even bring that up. I don't care what they think. There's a million Chloe Maddie pages out there. But guess what? Kendall's here, and she's staying. Hey, Peanut. What'd you think? I like it's it. great. You look great. I think Jill is the queen of the stage moms. And like the whole Melissa, Jill thing, like they're either gonna team up together or they're gonna be like two beta fish and kill each other. to make the prop because Mackenzie uses the prop. I wanted it to look like the plastic box that the doll comes in. Work it, Mackenzie, bigger! The competition is tomorrow. We are leaving tomorrow, and I'm still fixing choreography. 
This is ridiculous. These kids need to learn these numbers and know it perfectly. Why is Brooke upstairs? She was supposed to get a drink and come back in. Good. Go to the football game and let me call Peyton to get here. Stop writing all over your hands. Tack. Oh, she made her cry. She's a bitch. We're in the final rehearsal the night before we leave, and Brooke just starts to cry. She looks like a six-year-old. Whether it takes two hours or four hours, I don't care. If you're part of this team, you're staying until the routine is clean. I can't for the life of me think of why my kids come to this studio and why I bring them here. Mm -hmm. Paige has been yelled at since the second I walked in the door, and now my other daughter's getting yelled at because she has writing on her hand. Why do I come here? She's thinking, this is why I want to quit dance. Everybody's dismissed. Brooke, get over here. Brooke. She's leaving? Yes. She didn't try her costume on. Well, she was supposed to be done at 6.30. We're over what time we were, like, rehearsal was, so. And then Kelly goes, but your rehearsal's running late. Abby, you're wrong. You're the oldest one in the group. You're the role model, and I don't need five other kids crying. Yes? Why are you yelling at her about her hand, though? Yeah. You about that? You know what, Abby? She's a teenager. She has writing on her hand. I mean, whose place is it of yours to tell her what she's allowed to do? No one's, and it's not my place to tell your kids to get their feet off the furniture either. So I'm not going to do it anymore. Well, don't. Right. You I teach them at home. Yeah, teach them at home. Fine. Kelly's not teaching her kids to act like responsible young adults. Everyone's replaceable. God. We're about to get on the bus. We had to get to dance trip. Costumes aren't rhinestone. The props aren't finished. And I was worried sick because there was a snowstorm. I'm really disappointed that I'm going to miss Nia Solo and this group member called Sassy Dolls. I want Nia to focus on the competition and not let my absence be a distraction. Mommy won't be there, but you have lots of other mommies who are going to take care of you. I'm kind of sad that my mom can't be at the competition. I just have to deal with it. Good luck. Bye, honey. Yeah. Well, have a great time. Bye. Yes. Nice hug. I didn't want her to see me cry. It was important for Nia to know that I believed in her and that I knew she was going to do amazing things. Go ahead, go for friends. Go, go ahead, go for friends. If you disappoint Abby, she can hold a grudge. And she always tells us that everyone's replaceable. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. But I have to tell you that I'm not coming. I'm trusting Mia with you. I, I know. OK, so, but I know she's going to do well. She wants to do it for the team, so. Abby refused to get out of the car to talk to me. I had to talk to her through a window. She would not give me the courtesy of having a civilized conversation, and she was done. Holly always has something else to do, and I've had it with her. It's never about Nia. It's always about Holly. On your family. I bought Abby a gift as a token of my appreciation, and I wanted to give it to her in front of all the other moms because I want them to know that I'm serious about this. What is it? Perfume and the Chanel and the. Is that the number five? Jill pulls out a gift for Abby. I wanted to die. I was like, oh my God, here's another Melissa. <laughs> gift giver. <laughs> Thank you. I would give Abby a three-month trial membership to Weight Watchers if I were to give her a gift. It's the gift that we keep on giving. Girls, come on, let's go. Here we are at Dance Troop in Greensboro, North Carolina. Let's go, check it out. And there is some amazing talent here. I'm excited to see what's going to happen on stage. Up tall. I want to get this on really quick. We'll start with your eyes. All right, now listen. You just shot the music video. 
People recognize you, they know who you are. Do not go out there and forget your dance. Do not let it happen, keep dancing. It's very hard to keep Abby out of your head. Like when I'm at the mall, sometimes I'll hear like Abby out of nowhere. Now Kendall, remember, you are still on probation. What you do out there today counts, yes. I'm not really sure what probation means. I think she keeps saying probation, just she wants me to bring it. But I'm prepared to go on stage and bring it. New age group, nine and up. Do not disappoint me. Get out there and do what you were trained to do. All right, are we ready? Game faces. It's not hard dancing against older girls, but I'm not intimidated by anyone. I'm not nervous at all. I'm totally confident, and I'm ready to compete. Now we'd like to welcome to the stage contestant number 65. Welcome, Maddie. She really told the story with her face. There's this part where she does about stealing the scene, and she really did it well. She certainly was the star of the show. confident with my dance. I had a lot of applause and I felt good. This was contestant number 44, Caitlin. Up next, we have contestant number 84. Welcome, Chloe. I got a wish that's only mine. I got a wish that might seem dull to you. I'm going to wish as hard as I can. Let me tell you, I want to tell it to the trees. Put back to me, I'm gonna wish as hard as I can. Yeah, well, the wishes for fishes to see what we fill up with a million little When I'm on stage dancing, it feels like what I was meant to do and what I love doing. It feels like I'm just being what I want to be a dancer. Good. She was confident, but there's a big turn section that she does, and she goes to the floor, and she wasn't spotting the right direction. She could have done it better, but she covered it. I was very nervous before I got on stage. It was really scary because my mom wasn't there. Next is contestant number 85. covered the ending. She did a nice job. Up next, we have contestant number 81 in the performance of Bring on the Boys from Studio Code 513. Welcome, Kendall. <laughs> Jill was talking, I expected Kendall to be this amazing dancer. She was a good dancer, but no comparison to Maddie or Chloe. Before I went on stage, I was hearing Abby's voice telling me all the corrections and all the changes, but I know I can do this.
gorgeous in her costume, but the face wasn't there. The kid was a nervous wreck. Were you nervous? Sort of. OK. Kendall was really nervous at the competition. Here she's known these girls for three days. She gets a new solo. She really wants to do well for Abby. Are we ready for awards? This is performance in fourth place, number 85. We have one small girl as the title. It's Abby Lee's Dance Company. That's correct. I got fourth place in my category and really happy for that. Things ended up OK without mom. I really hope I win first. I don't want to let my fans down. And in first place, Junior Age Division, our overall awards goes to number 84, Born to Sing, Emily's Dance Company. In my age category, I got first overall, and I was really excited and happy because it's the for a solo of the new dance season, and it just felt really good to start off on a good note. And rounding out our pre-junior category in first place, number 65, star of the show, Abby Lee Dance Company. Chloe and I had a very high score on our solo, and we beat some 16-year-olds, and I thought that was a very good achievement for us, too. We need to get ready for the group dance. Let's go. Kendall, you need to watch your distended neck. You need to pull it back. I just want to know what your thoughts were on Kendall. I don't know. The probation thing, I don't want you to, like, hold her on that one performance where she had three days to learn the number. This is what this is all about. Her she worries. passed that test. I guess that's my question. I, I don't want to be on probation. I want to be part of the team. I want my daughter to be a part of the team. I want to get rid of this probation crap and move on. I said she has to prove herself. She's mm -hmm. going to keep on proving herself. Everything is going to be a test. I'm sort of sad. I think I'm going to be on probation for pretty long. OK. So I'm pink. I'm not sure. No. You were prepared, honey. You had a couple days to prepare. Hello. You were. Are you crying? No. No tears. You save those tears for your pillow in your room alone. You're going to humiliate yourself in front of everyone in this dressing room. Do it's not okay. cry. Suck it up, kid. You're here, you're healthy, you are one lucky little girl. Act like it. What I saw from Kendall disappointed me. She didn't blow me out of the water. I, I was expecting this kid to come out there and have the whole package, and she didn't. So she's still on probation. Better. You know, this was the first time out. It was the first competition of the new season. You're a little rusty out there. All of you are too old to be cute, even Mackenzie. The girls did great on their solos, but now it's time for the group number. And we all know it's a lot harder to dance together as a group than it is to dance alone by yourself. This is the first time you've been on stage since the big national win. Do you understand that? You can't go from up here to down here in one performance. Guys, you're next. We need you. Let's go. I think there's a lot of pressure on me and the other girls because we just won a national title. So we need to keep winning to win another national title. For this number, I'm stuck in a box and I can't get out. I finally get out of the box when the girls come up and find me and get me out of the box.
great. They danced so-so. <laughs> Together, I think we did a really good job because everyone was really acting like a doll. So I think we did good. Second place, number 198. How great thou art. Floyd Ward Scott Gats. still works in North Carolina because they won. Is it good enough for me? No. Is it ever going to be good enough for me? Probably not. Girls, you have to get it together. I said no more sloppy groups. And you know what? Brooke, you're too old to be cute. You're right in the front before the whole side area section looking across at Chloe to see what to do. I was just a little bit nervous that I was on the wrong count. Every once in a while, I would look at, out at Chloe. Nia. You were not even dancing. You didn't even know where you were on stage. If you don't want a group dance, we can just come and do the solos. It'll save a lot of rehearsal time if we don't need a group. Abby comes in and she reams out our girls for being sloppy on stage, and the number wins first place. Back to the drawing board. New number, starting tomorrow. You're the one that wants them to learn a new dance every three days. Everybody else out there, I can guarantee you, have been doing their numbers more than three days. How come I'm the only one that gets aggravated? Because you're the you only know. one that hasn't had a child. No, yeah. but I had a mother and a father, and if they looked at me one time, I knew. One look. So I'm telling you right now, it's 4.30 to 9.30, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Plan on it. I'm allowed to say the routine wasn't good. Most parents value my opinion more than the three judges. Whatever, Abby. I was so frustrated. I'm just not the kind of person that's going to sit back and shut up. No. I don't have to pay on time. I'm Kelly Highland. I've been no. nursing for 30 years. I always paid the whole year yeah. up front. Because I'll show you my Discover card payment that shows for the past 10 years Wait, I've paid you're you You're the reason in I don't full. even take Discover anymore. Kelly, go get a job. Oh, don't even go there, you whore. Oh, you are a whore. So welcome, Jill. Sorry. Welcome. Kendall has never experienced that kind of behavior from adults. And I don't know why they let it get to that level. Does that happen, like, all the time? It, it does. Why do they get that heated? Why does it go so I far? Know, I mean, my god, Abby Don't ever trust Kelly or Christy. They'll stab you in the back as quickly as they can. They do it to me all the time. These moms are crazy. If they ever pull that stuff on me, they're going to see a whole other side of Jill. It seems like the only person I can connect with right now is Melissa. I think I can trust her. If they ever come after me like that, verbally, I'll stick up for you. Please help okay, me out. I will. need that. Well, thank you. You're Kids, let's go! When I walked into the dressing room, and I heard all the commotion and all the chaos once again, I decided not to give out the jackets because I wanted the jackets to be a joyous occasion. But today is not joyous. A dear friend of mine, Diana, had a problem last night. Her heart stopped working. And they had to shock her heart seven times. They put her uh, into a medically induced coma. Dee was with me every step of the way. She was in the hospital the night I almost died. She was there through the rehabilitation. She was by my side. How's it look in the back? It looks nice. She is not just any friend, but a dear friend. She's sometimes my hairdresser and sometimes my makeup artist, but she is always my friend and she always has my back. You know I say everyone's replaceable, but sometimes you don't want to replace people. You want those good eggs with you all the time. Dee would want me to be here. She would want me to be here with these kids doing what I love to do. So I'm waiting. She's in a coma right now, 
They're going to try to wake her up. We'll see how that goes. So, I feel horrible. I am just heart sick over it. And I would like to get on with it. So, no pyramid today. And if I need to be there and I need to be by her side, I will go. I think family and friends, friends as close as that friend of hers that is family, take precedence over any of this silliness here. Dee was with me, finding the right person to create the jackets from scratch, to make those jackets and for them to be exactly what I wanted them to be. So I'm gonna give the jackets out. I said that I would pick one dancer from each duet. I've thought long and hard about that decision. The first jacket is going to Lily. Thank you. Lily, she has shown the ability to dance without arms and be so impressive with her legs that the arms didn't matter. She has proven herself in a duet. She has proven herself in the group. She deserves the jacket. Let's be honest. Lily and I are kind of the best dancers here. And it's kind of like unfair that the losing duo will get a jacket over someone in the winning duo. You no, know, it's kind of unfair. The second official team member getting her jacket today is Presley. Thank you. You're welcome. You have lots of work to do. Presley, you've never been invisible. I just know when I need to be hard on a kid. And when I think there's more for a kid to give, I'm going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until I get it. Thank you. We just have to get those scores up. We need you to be that overall high score winner, not just placing. I think Presley's doing a great job. Even though she doesn't shine as a soloist, she's still something cohesive in the group that is always a constant. And I like that, and that's why she got the jacket. All right, this week, we are traveling to New Jersey to attend New York Dance Experience. Yay, long bus ride. We are definitely on the road to nationals right now. Today, I start looking for who will represent the ALDC at nationals. So this week, we have two solos. The first solo goes to Presley. It's called All or Nothing. Hannah, you are performing the other solo. The name of your solo is Hannah Bull. You are portraying the life of a cannibal. So she's gonna bite her way to the top. Both of you have this opportunity to prove to me that you should do a solo at nationals. The group routine. The title is The Chosen One. Now, we're down a dancer. So I dug through my old audition files and I've invited a few dancers here. Their actual audition will be learning the group routine. We will be observing how these other dancers fit. Why on earth would I be having auditions this late in the game, three weeks away from nationals? I wouldn't be. The only reason people are coming in is because Eliana is gone. I don't like six kids on a team. I want the total number to be odd. It makes for better choreography. So now I need a kid that picks up quick that learns choreography fast and blends well with the other kids. Because they need to get on a winning streak so that they walk into nationals with their heads held high and, you know, some confidence. One of the young dancers that's waiting to come in here, that's auditioning, is Hannah's little brother. Oh. What if I have the wrong sibling on the team? Well, I think you have the right one, so. All right, good. That's the confidence I need. That's the confidence you must have as a dancer. Hannah finally spoke. She actually opened her mouth and talked to me. All right, let's go. You guys are out. Get upstairs. Alrighty. 
Thanksgiving cards. Hi guys. Too many things happening. Hi. Excuse Hi. us. Hello. Hello. Now I'm trying to remember some of you from LA from the callback. You were there? Yes. Yes. This is Ellie. Uh, we're from Pittsburgh. This is Paris. We was here last time. She's one of those, if you give her a critique, she's going to go home and she's going to do it. OK. This is William. Are you so excited? He's so excited that you called. Is she talking for William? Yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, of course she is. Good. We're glad to have you. Hi, this is Berkeley. We were here at your audition in LA. This one's got a yeah, skin tight black dress. Oh, Ashley, I don't like that. We can't have no, no. Baywatch competition. Oh. Whatever. This is Elaine. She knows how to be professional. She knows how to lead a team. All right. Thank you. And you're uh, from Tennessee. Yes, we yes. are from Tennessee. We have a JoJo wannabe on the corner there. Do you see the size of the bow? Yikes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put you in the group dance. You're going to learn the choreography right now, and that's going to be your audition, because these kids need to learn a group dance to compete this weekend. And then as the day goes on, I'm going to cut some people, and uh, we'll see what we have left, OK? Moms, I'm going to send you upstairs. Be careful. You want to leave alive. Hey. hey. The story is the chosen one. This is about a town. They pick someone by using a lottery. The winner is sacrificed to be stoned to death so that all the other townspeople will have good crops. It's funny that she's talking about sacrificing one right. when she's supposed to be picking one to right. stay. Makes me happy that Lily got a jacket this week. What are the jackets? None of the kids actually have had team jackets up until today. So Abby gave out the first two team jackets to permanent members of the team. And Lily got one and Presley got one. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. I don't think Abby cares or wants to give one to me ever. So I'm just going to dance and hope to win. <laughs> to be honest, the jacket doesn't define who I am, who Gia is as a person or a dancer. So if she doesn't want to share her jackets, then she can keep them, keep warm with them. All right. Ms. Gianna, let's give them something and see how fast they pick up. Um, OK, spread out, guys. You're going to cross your arms, cross, and then flex it back, and then plie fan it around. When I look at the room, I only key in on those people that I want in the number. Who gets the style? Who gets the steps? Who knows the terminology? Those are the kids we'll keep. Everybody else, it's going to be bye-bye. OK, Paris, right split. Good. Dance is life in our house. We can't go on a family vacation. Why? Dance. dance. Now, if she would have stayed with soccer, then, you know, we would have had a chance to. Soccer's boring. We, I we don't like soccer. But we could have went on more vacations. But she's OK with that. She's OK not going to Disney World, right? We can go to Disney World in the summer. I mean, we think that we should just leave the kids as is for nationals, but it may be inevitable that we have one of these kids on our team. So I would like to know what we're getting ourselves into with these moms. Like, tell me what, like, the other studio members would say from the studio that you came from. Ha, I could tell you what mine say. They call me a skinny bitch. We, we have one of those already. Yeah, that spot's taken. We have one of those already. Sorry. Berkeley is a military child, so we've lived kind of all over the place. And Berkeley is amazing under pressure. I think I can fit in with the team really well, and I'm tough. Like, I'm not like, I got a correction. I'm like, I'm going to do this correctly. I'm going to go home. I'm going to do it right. And I'm going to come back, and it's going to be good. She's ready. She wants it, and she's going to go for it. This is already way, way longer than I would have ever taught this dance for. Like, we would have already been a minute through the, the choreography. And people are still not knowing the first step. So for me, that's unacceptable. OK. Some of you can't even stand on two feet. Good news. Well, bad news. We'll start with the bad news. So let me start with you, William. I just don't think the height of the girls and their ages are going to work for you. So for right now, you're out. All right. Now. All right, I'm going to dismiss Elena, Landry, 
and Ellie. I think maybe it was a little too soon, you know? Maybe it was just timing, and we're gonna see all of you back here again soon, I'm sure. Okay? All right. All right. You, Paris, and you, Berkeley, you all get to come back tomorrow. I think Berkeley's gonna make the team. I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> I know you guys are feeling really comfortable, but she loves to change her mind. I mean, we know Abby. That kid, whoever is picked, could be in the dressing room and still not dance in the competition. The chosen one can be our six. All right, so you two are going up against each other. If you do not win, there's no way you will have a solo at nationals. All right, let's get to work. Ready, Gianna? Can you put the mask on, Hannah? Oh my God, Hannah's wearing a mask. Oh, oh my God. Hannah's got the it solo. Everyone knows Hannibal. It might be the it solo, but I don't think it's the it solo for Hannah. I don't think that this is Hannah's strength. It's not Hannah's best like genre. You know what I'm saying? Like she's like pretty lyrical and she's putting yes. her in a mask and making her new dark contemporary. Yes, Abby wants her to grow and show that she can play this dark character. She has to go out there and she has to show Abby that she can do this and she belongs here. Go. Hannibal is one of the best themes I've ever tried. I mean, this could be incredible with the dolly and the mask. I mean, this number could win the whole thing. It could be so iconic. It could be so cool. She needs to be Hannibal the cannibal. You need to eat people. You should come off that stage and eat those judges. One, two, three, four, and step out of it. She's had more solos which means more opportunities than anyone else on the team, you know? And she hasn't, like, had a win with the most solos on the team. I don't think that's fair to be rewarded for less than what other people have to do. She had a couple of bad times. It, it that happens, everyone has. Presley hasn't gotten a first overall, and she keeps getting solos. And I'm gonna tell you this, don't compare Hannah to Presley. Presley's never gotten seventh, has she? She hasn't gotten first. Pretty sure Presley can outperform Hannah. We'll see. We will. Hannah, do you understand that you're a person that eats other humans? Yes. It's not a lyrical pretty dance. It's not about a pretty girl. It's just like this. She's like a wet rag. If I didn't know you, and I came in and flew in here to choreograph this number for you, I would think that you hated it, so you just want to do it bad, so we wouldn't make you do it. I'm not, I'm not doing the dance bad on purpose. And I would never do that, and it just makes me upset when Abby doesn't think that I'm doing good right now. And I, I want to make her, like, happy, and I want to prove to her that I can do this dance, and I want to do good. But she doesn't think that I'm doing good. Presley, let's go from the top. Where I think Presley's strengths lie is being a great group dancer. She has great musicality and timing, and I think she's the glue that's going to hold that group together. Is she a soloist? No. Her mother goes on and on and on about how talented the kid is and what an amazing dancer she is. All right, prove it. This dance is lots of movement, no story, no theme, no nothing. I want to see the Presley that her mother sees. Heels off the floor there. I just said that before. Take on fate! Those are two bricks at the end of those legs. It's like the same thing she says all year. I mean, those things don't fix overnight. I didn't expect that just because she gave her a jacket that she would stop. When Abby told Presley that she was never invisible, I mean, it was a big moment. Because Presley felt invisible. It's not fair. Everybody does this solo except for me. It's like I don't exist. Exactly. But you don't ever want your kid to feel like that, ever. Which is why it's super important for her to win this week. She has to show that she deserves to be here, she deserves a jacket, she deserves a solo at Nationals. My kid is a star. Honestly, like between the two of them, the pressure is really on Presley. Presley has to bring in a win to give credit to her jacket. Sick old fly. Okay. Breathe, just go over there and breathe. It looks like they're wrapping up rehearsals. I'm gonna go check on William, I'll be back. 
Was it still here? All right, run over to Miss Abby. Go. What? I'm wondering if you could uh, watch my solo and give me critique. Sure. She's using William to try and take time away from my daughter. She knows she's wrong. I, it, the whole thing is All of it. Wow. <laughs> Anne, what's going on? William asked me if he could show Miss Abby his solo and get some critiques. Right her. now? Yes. He's getting critiques right now. During Presley's During solo time? My, my daughter's solo time. So you thought it was appropriate to walk your little ass downstairs and send your nine-year-old son into rehearsal when my daughter has an actual solo this week and isn't finished. Is that what you is that what you thought was right? What are you trying to do? Take away Presley's it's solo no, time because you're worried. No, I know, Anne, it's not. fine. That is not you know the what, case. You know what, Anne, I'm so It was the end of you're rehearsal. You're finally it's showing harmless. your true colors. Whatever, as Ashley. As fake, sneaky, yeah. conniving. I'm not fake. I'm you're not all sneaky of those or things. conniving. You're all of those things. It was the end of rehearsal. Was William it? wanted to go Did in. Did she dismiss our kids before you sent your kid in? No. So it wasn't the end of rehearsal. Check yourself, Anne. Check yourself. Anne is being selfish. I understand that, you know, he's a huge fangirl like of Abby, but this week we already don't have a lot of time with the new kids being here, and now she's taking time out of Presley's rehearsal, so I don't think that was being a good team player. Can I talk to you yes. real quick? Okay, so Press came home with the costume yesterday. I'm a little bit worried because it's super long. We'll try to hide her legs. I get it, but I don't want to hide her legs. I well, feel like it's to. also hiding the choreography. Well, last night, Miss Abby gave me my costume, and I did not like my costume because it didn't fit me right. It was ugly, and I looked like Ursula, okay? I just feel like it hides her. I think her arms look like long with it, and I feel like she looks longer in it. This soul is my chance to dance at nationals, and I think if I did wear that costume, I would look like a complete mess on stage with that skirt. And I cannot flow this solo. I, I don't know, I just don't feel like it does anything for her body. Well, you're always like hanging out. We're not like that. I know. We're trying to she put her best hiding. foot forward. She's wearing what she's wearing. I think Ashley needs to wake up. I mean, this is about the choreography. And the choreography was designed for the costume. And I'm very good at costuming. I pride myself on flattering a dancer's body. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just keep doing this group. Let me work on the acting. Let's do a few things. All right, let's go. Turn that right foot out harder when you, right when you turn around. Bigger hands when they come up off the floor, Brady. More legs. Not so heavy with the heels. There's really high stakes this week. Well, if, if, if they do lose, it's not because of my daughter. The only new element this week is your kids. OK, so when y'all lost y'all last group dance, who fault was that? Who fault was it? When y'all didn't get first place, who fault was it? The judges. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's great. Should we have Paris and Berkeley do it themselves? Oh boy, now she's making them do it myself. Can't ride their coattails anymore. We only have three weeks until nationals, and I'm replacing Eliana. So now I'm seriously considering adding Paris, who is a fabulous turner, or Berkeley. She's extremely flexible. I'm looking for that kid who blends well with the other kids. There's only one more spot on this team Paris and Berkeley. This is your chance to prove yourself. That's what I need to see. All that rolling around was just there. It was all right there. It's oh, what fair. was that? Oh, I don't yeah, think right? Berkeley knows the combo. Oh my god, you guys, I'm actually having like a little panic attack. So they, they don't know the counts. They don't know the counts. Did did your kids go home and practice? Yeah. My daughter practiced 24-7. Okay. Judges on the critiques quickly. Lily. You need to make a lot more eye contact with the judges, and you're making no facial expressions. Giannina. You guys are second guessing yourself like a lot, and Berkeley, you're watching Paris in the mirror. The timing was definitely different because you guys weren't together. How in the world are we supposed to win? Tomorrow. We're on the stage tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow. What scares me is we've got two kids that have never even put a dance on stage that they've only just learned. We don't even know how these kids 
react under pressure. What are we supposed to do? We really need to win this time because not only Miss Abby is having a tough time with her friend Dee, I think we need to show her that we can win so that she can be happy. And also, we have Paris and Berkeley with us. It's one thing to be auditioning for the ALDC, but you really have to step it up if you're gonna be on stage representing the ALDC. What they have to do is blend with the group dance and whoever does better at that will stay. Hello, hello, hello. All right, solos. We have Hannibal. The moms are upset because Hannah's had the most solos here. The most solos without the most gain. It's been hard to hear the other moms, you know, dismissing Hannah. I think Hannah needs to win first place. Not only to get the opportunity to perform at nationals, but to show everyone Hannah belongs on this team. Presley, she's dressed. Can I see her? You're not wearing the costume that we had for you. What is going on now? I am about to lose my mind. Presley, she's dressed. Can I see her? All right, so you're not wearing the costume that we had for you. Correct. I talked to you as an adult, and I told you what needs to be covered. Which is everything. No, it's not everything. I didn't put a mask on her face like Hannah. Come on, babe, let's go. All right, let's run your dance, because that's the most important thing. Did you change the dance, too? Nope. This is not about your body. This is, this is not about anybody's body. This is about the choreography. We knew what you were going to look like, what the steps were going to be, and how the skirt would flow. Now, not happening. Corrections, Ashley? Nope. You're not going to give her a correction? I'm not claiming to know anything other than I have a beautiful kid that doesn't need to be covered up. This is nothing about her body. This is about her feet. What about your boots? Were you happy with them? You went and bought new ones. Right, and guess what? You can do that. Can she buy new legs? Can she buy new feet? No. Presley, you got a jacket because A, you are a team, were a team player. B, you can count. You have great musicality. That's why you got a jacket. Not because you have good feet, not because you have great legs or great flexibility. Everybody's trying to make this about what you don't have, and I'm trying to make it about what you do have, so that when we step out on that stage, nobody would know you have bad feet. But your mother wants to display it in front of the whole world. I want her to be proud of herself stupid. and her body. Well, you call me stupid all you want. I just think it's ridiculous that Miss Abby thinks that she has to cover me up for me to be able to win, but I think that's the complete opposite. When things like this happen, I just think that you should let it go, look at yourself in the mirror, and tell yourself that's not true because you know that it's not true. So this is her dance to prove that she is the dancer that you think she is. That I know she is. OK, then wear whatever you want. OK. You know what? Let them wear whatever they want. When they don't win, it's on them. Hannah, Presley, whoever wins today could be doing a solo at nationals. Come on, let's go. All right, up next we have the solo character, Hannibal. This week, all of our solos are really important because if we do really good, then we could possibly have a solo at nationals. This hurts my nose. I'm going to win first.
hug, please. Stop. Give me a hug. I need a hug. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna kick it up with a solo contemporary, 11 and 12. It's heartbreaking to see her kid upset before what's probably the most important solo of the entire season. She wants to dance at nationals. I just hope that she can focus and pull it together and go out there and do what I know she can do. She's gonna dance pretty much for her life. Number 701, all or nothing. We're gonna kick it up with a solo contemporary, all or nothing. That's the best I've ever done it so far. I'm really glad that my mom fought for me to wear this costume because I don't think I would have done as good if I did wear the other costume because I wouldn't have felt as comfortable. Good job, guys. Good job, Presley. Good, good job, job Hannah. I think I was probably most disappointed in Hannah. When she tiptoes through the tulips, she was like staggering and falling over and putting a foot in and out, and I didn't even know what she was doing. Uh, I thought that was one of the best performances Presley gave. I think if she would have worn the other costume, it would have been an asset to the dance, not a hindrance. If Ashley knew what was best for Presley, Presley would have gone out there and performed in the costume that I gave her. Well, I have good news and bad news. I'm leaving now. Right, like right now? Right now. I am going to the airport to fly to Los Angeles. I did receive a message that said, come. To come now. Dee was there in the hospital with me the night I almost died, and now I cannot believe that it's been a year, and we're talking about a similar life or death situation with my dear friend. It's crazy. Abby likes to put on this front that she's actually tough as nails. So to see her break down like this kind of makes her human. What Karen said is if anybody can wake her up, it's you. She said, if you just come in and start screaming and yell at her, she'll probably react. So I have to go. I have to try. I stayed as long as I could, but now I'm getting on a flight, you know, right now. So I'm not going to be able to stay to see the group routine. I hope the parents and everyone understand. All right, I'm counting on you guys. Goodbye. Strong, strong. All right. I love you. Thank love you. I'm you. sorry. I'm positive that I'm going to go out there. I'm going to start, you know, cracking heads. Gonna make some heads roll, and I'm gonna start screaming and yelling, and she's gonna hear my voice, and it's gonna bring her to. Let me just see the dance, because yeah. yesterday we were in like kind of a crazy place with the two new kids. All right, guys, here we go. Get far enough out on the stage. All the way across, don't cut it short. Okay, Paris, that's not gonna happen. Two, three, get them out, get them out. They should already be out. Why are we still doing the wrong dance? They still don't know the timing. Like, it's still off. They do a part with Giannina, and it's like three solos right now. Well, now's not the time to have any mistakes, though. I'm saying, like, Gia, what's the choreography? Can you do it with them? Up, step, kick, ball, two. That's not together right now. Okay. Right. Oh, my god. Are we going to win? Are we going to place? 
I don't even have words. I've never been this terrified. We're going on stage in a few minutes. These are not problems that we should be having right now. This is where the group comes back together on this kick. It's on count eight. But I said that on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. Six, fall tape. You guys are still off the timing. Your daughter's crying. I know that. I mean, everybody's jumping on her back. Of course, I would cry too. I mean, this team is a ball of pressure. This is what happens. Tell me why you upset. Because the moms keep pressuring me to do it right, but I feel like that if it just keeps calm, I can just start well, the, well, doing it right. I mean, Paris, you just go out there and you and you give your best. That's what you do. You was here. They told you to be here. They give you corrections. You take it. You go on stage and you perform it. I think my daughter still has a really high chance of making the team because I just feel like Paris's mom is overwhelmed and her daughter's not going to be able to handle the pressure. And if one correction is going to make her daughter cry, maybe it's not the right time for her. So William Brady, hold this down for me. On the parts that you do separate, on the parts that are together, watch the people in front of you, OK? That's what we're going with. Let's do this, guys. And let's do it for D as well, please. I'm not used to this kind of pressure. And I feel like that they're all screaming gets me pressured up to where I can't do good. I think I can pull it off. I just have to stay calm. Number 703, the chosen one. Start off with a group contemporary, the chosen one. We cannot afford to lose this week, or any weeks between now and nationals. But this group dance, we've got two kids in the dance that don't know what they're doing, that were auditioning for our team, and Abby left before she even told us if they're on the team or not. Sounds like first place to me. I did my best that I could. That was definitely the best time we've ever done the dance. If Miss Abby was here, I think that she would say that I did amazing and that my timing was correct. All right, is everybody ready for awards? And here we go, starting with our solos. 
I just want Hannah to win. That's all. I really want her to win. I want her to show Miss Abby that she can be a first place overall winner and that she belongs here. This is her chance to earn a solo at Nationals. And here we go. Abby's not going to be happy that Hannah got 10th place. Is she going to get a solo at Nationals? I don't know. You never know. Probably not, though. Probably not, nah, though. Definitely not. <laughs> Probably not, though. It's OK. It's all right. In fifth place. I need to show her that I do deserve this jacket, because it probably if I don't win, she's going to take it away from me, because I made a whole scene in the dressing room about my costume. And if I don't win, then she's going to be like, oh, you should have worn the costume, and you were going to win. Then she'll take away my jacket, because she doesn't like that I have a different person's costume on. For number 503, Ms. Brown. surprised after everything that she dealt with in the dressing room right before she went on stage. And now, maybe neither of them will have a solo at Nationals. All right, we're going to move into our group. We're three weeks out from Nationals. We really need to get on a winning streak so that our kids are confident when we get to Nationals. We have to do this for Abby and her friend. We need a win. Third place. Mannequin Royal Nova in our junior groups. Second and first place are divided by 0.5, less than one point. Ladies and gentlemen, in second place with a 298.2. Bad Royal Nova. And our Junior group. Seven oh three, the chosen one. Who's your choreographer? Abby Lincoln's company. Woo! Thank God, we made it. We got first place, even with the two new kids. Congrats, congrats. It's been a minute since we won. So that's huge for us right now, all right? Kids, I want to get you guys cleaned up and out of these costumes. I don't want any of this dirt on your face anymore. I want you to look cute again. So let's go. <laughs> Thankfully, the chosen one won. But Abby's not even here to pick one. And who knows when she's even coming back. I feel like this is a moment to plead our case. I mean, my kid worked really hard in your group dance. I think that my kid would be a wonderful asset to your team. I just want to say thank you for allowing my daughter. I know y'all probably didn't want us to come here, but she came. She loved it. She wants to be an Abby Lee girl. No, she's not perfect. Yes, she need to work on her feet, but Paris is determined to do that. I mean, the kid took the heat today, got very upset, went off stage and performed. But it's really not up to us, guys. We don't know what's going on. There's a lot of unanswered questions, loose ends, new people here. We don't even know if they're on the team. Abby never made a decision about that. We are three weeks away from nationals. We don't have time to figure it out. 